So one of the very first things that I do with people in the deep water is get them to find their natural flu. And the way they do that is they take a really deep breath, very lightly, gently lower themselves into the water and they find out where they stop. Now most people end up floating right around here, um, but you're just looking for everybody to find their float. So we're gonna ask Denise to take a deep breath, to drop into the water gently, gently, slowly, slowly. She can keep her hands here on the side so she doesn't have to be terrified about this. We just want her to find that float. You will find a lot of people who will start this and they'll keep dropping themselves in and they don't understand that the gravity pushes them down and that causes the bobbing because the buoyancy pushes them back up and so I explained that. But the goal for them is to go in slowly to find out where it is they float and when they find it, I'll explain the reason. So Denise, if you'll start, um, again, good breath, and then just gently, gently lower yourself in. If you're comfortable uh, pulling your hands off the top of this, you can. If not, leave them on the top, okay? okay. Real gentle down. Now, she dropped. She dropped in with speed, with power. She's gonna bob and she's eventually gonna settle here. And she's going to settle, and the, she's in front of a uh, she's in front of a water blower, whatever you call that thing that's pushing her backwards, and that's where she's taking off. So this time you this time you dropped in and you did the bobs. Yeah. So would you go in real real slow so there's almost no bob when it settles out around where you stop? Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's Denise right there, right above, right around the eyes, usually around the top of her goggles, maybe right around the middle of her goggles. That's her float. She's not using her arms. She's not kicking her feet. She is completely still while she does this. That's her natural float. That's beautiful. Thank you very much, madam. So why do we care? Why in the world would you care what your natural float was? The reason's because in the deep water, most people think that they have to have their face way up here. It has to be way, way up there, or they're gonna drown and they're gonna die, and it's not true. For Denise, all we need is this much room from her eyes to her mouth, and she can be safe. Now for me, that transition goes from this to this. And now I'm safe, and now I'm fine, in the water, doing nothing but getting blown around by this water jet. That's it, that's all there is to it. And I can stay there for a long time. Let's see if Denise can do that, because all she needs is this much space. Madam, would you get your float? Again, just like that, and once you're settled and comfortable, just look up and see if your mouth comes out where you could breathe. Okay. You don't have to breathe, just look and see. Denise, I hope all that strain's not bothering you too much. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid you might hurt yourself trying to stay safe in the deep water with that. This is what happens all the time. It's wonderful. People get to a place where they find out, wow, I'm in 12 feet of water and I don't have to do anything to be safe here. I can just not move and I'm safe. That's a cool scenario. And that's why we start with What's your natural space and how far do you have to go? If you have somebody who's sinker, it's a whole different world. But this is 99% of the people you're gonna see. So once they're comfortable with that, once they have the hang of that, then what I suggest they do is what I call natural sinking. So you take, you start at your natural float and then you start blowing out air. And it's really different, it's a, it's really different than bobbing, but people at first don't Think it. When you first bob, you think, oh my gosh, I'm sinking, and then the water pushes you back up. But there is a place where you unload enough air, or where a lot of people can unload enough air, that they just sink. And the buoyancy that used to push them back up to the top doesn't push them back up. It, they don't sink like a rock. They're still slowing down. The buoyancy still helping them 
but they actually have to begin to propel themselves upward. And it is a completely different feel in the lungs. And so one of the things that I like for them to do is begin to see if they can feel that and they can tell because it requires some different behaviors to push you back into safety. So, Denise, if you would, and sometimes Denise can't blow enough air out to sink, so we're gonna see how it is today. Sometimes you'll find people who can blow out all the air they can possibly blow out. They just sink too well. They stay at the stop, the top, they can't do this. Tragic in the water, I know. I can't, I can't get to the bottom home. Oh, that's so sad. You float too well. Uh, good for you, good for you. Hope you keep it. But we're gonna show you, for those of you who can sink, how to do this. Okay, so just go to your natural float really gently as before, and then just start blowing out, and we're gonna see if that happens. So. There's your natural float, start blowing out. She's blowing out, she's still floating, we got a little bob. Ah, there we go, now we're sinking, and that is a completely different sensation than it is for the people who don't get to go there. So, did you feel that sink? Did you feel when it started? I did. Isn't that different? It's a different feelings in the, in the lungs. In the lungs, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And and then and then there's something about that sink that doesn't push you back up, and you know it's not pushing you back up, and it's an interesting sensation, and it's an important thing to learn if you're going to play a lot in deep water, where that is, what it is. Now, it's really fun if you want to go play on the bottom because that makes it easy to play on the bottom. There's some other ways to do it that let you keep air in your lungs, which are also fun. But it's an easy way to get down, and it's and it's something that's useful to know. So if you get a chance to play with it, 